should you start a blog or a YouTube channel? You might be wondering this. So I've got here for you today 13 things that you need to keep in mind when you're trying to make this decision. So let's go ahead and see which one you should pick. I started my own blog, cappuccinoandfashion.com, I think over eight years ago. And I started it as a pure hobby. I had no idea what I was doing. But for me, the process of starting my own blog was much easier in terms of comfort rather than starting my YouTube channel. So obviously when you start your YouTube channel, it's a bit more awkward. You're just sitting in front of the camera, basically talking to yourself. So it can be a bit weird and it's out of almost everyone's comfort zone unless you are very natural on camera, which most of us aren't when we're just getting started. It takes months and years of practice to get that confidence. Yeah, for me, the process of starting my blog was easy. The process of starting my YouTube channel was way out of my comfort zone. So it did take quite a lot of kind of build up for me to get that confidence to start it. And if you don't know, this is my second YouTube channel, the one that you're watching right now. I've got another main channel as well, um, which I will link down below in case you're interested. But um, yeah, let's dive into the 13 things you should keep in mind when you're trying to decide if you should pick blogging versus YouTube. Number one is your level of comfort being on camera. Now, this is a tricky one because I don't mean how comfortable you are right now because you will not be comfortable in front of the camera when you first pick it up. So what you actually have to decide here is you, if you have enough passion for YouTube to actually move past that level of awkwardness in the beginning because again, comfort in front of the camera comes in time. So do not expect that you will start your channel and within two weeks you will be just completely comfortable filming yourself and talking to yourself because you won't. So it does take months and years of practice, but if this is something you're passionate about, then you absolutely should start a YouTube channel. However, if you really do not want to be on camera, if that's absolutely not even a discussion for you, obviously a blog is the right choice for you. I will say though, even on a blog, I do not recommend having a completely anonymous blog. Um, it doesn't mean you have to show your face everywhere in every picture, but just having a simple headshot of you in your profile or on your sidebar in your about me page, just so that people can see the person behind the blog. It really helps. It helps build trust. It helps people kind of relate to you a bit more. So I highly recommend that you don't have an anonymous blog. So you will still kind of need to show your face, but obviously just showing a picture of yourself, it's much easier than showing, you know, a full video of you talking to a camera. So that's number one. Number two is the skills required for each of these. Now I will actually go into so much more detail on my blog and write a full blog post on this whole topic because there's just so much to go into and I don't want to make this video an hour long. But the main gist of it, so for a blog, um, you will need basic photography skills because um, you will probably at some point need to take pictures for your blog. Now, depending on what type of blog you have, um, you might need to have 100% original photos. Like for example, if it's a food blog, a fashion blog, a photography blog, anything like that. But if it, in certain niches, you don't really need to have original photos. You can get away with using stock ones. But yeah, basic photography skills are, is something you might need. Um, then you will need writing skills. You do not need to be a great writer. This is something that's learned. Um, so all of these skills that I'm going to mention, you don't need to have them right now. It's just something that you need to have an interest in and something you want to learn about. Um, so basic writing skills, obviously in order to write your blog posts, you will need some very basic graphic design skills in order to create graphics for your blog, which means your blog logo, um, any sort of uh, like images that you might need on your blog, pin images for Pinterest, for social media. So any sort of design um, project like that. And then you will also need some very basic SEO knowledge at the least in order to give your blog a chance to rank in Google search. So SEO, if you don't know, is a search engine optimization. So you do want to be able to optimize your posts um, to obviously be able to rank in Google and get traffic to your blog. Now, the skills that you need for a YouTube channel are slightly different. So you will still need some basic photography skills because you will need, most likely you will need to take uh, photos of either yourself, of products, of um, things that you want to include in your videos. You will also need here, the same as the blog, you will need basic graphic design skills in order to um, create beautiful YouTube thumbnails. This is really important because if you don't create quality thumbnails, people are, are not going to click on your YouTube videos 
and they're not going to watch obviously so it's so important to have a good thumbnails and then again the same as a blog you will need some seo knowledge in order to learn how to rank your um, youtube videos in youtube search this time um, but the two skills that you will need that are kind of different from the blog obviously for one you will need video recording skills so that means you need to learn how to set up a decent background for yourself how to um, set up lighting that works for your videos audio quality and just kind of your basic camera settings in order to produce a quality video and then another set of skills that you will need is video editing because regardless of how good you are at talking most likely you will stumble on your words at some point which i do a lot but um yeah you will need to do some very basic editing to just kind of cut out any lulls any uh, something you mispronounce anything you stumbled on so uh, you will need some basic editing skills number three let's talk about equipment that you will need so for a blog you just need a laptop with good internet connection and optionally you might need a camera depending on how often you want to take pictures for your own blog or if you want to use stock photos then you don't really need a fancy camera now when it comes to equipment for youtube again you will need a laptop with internet connection obviously you will also need a good camera now you might be able to start on your smartphone so that's completely fine if you want to start that especially if you have a good one and you've got a good quality camera and a decent audio on it then that is fine you can start on a smartphone but you will likely outgrow that very fast and you will need to move on to a more professional camera this doesn't mean it needs to cost thousands of dollars i will actually uh, link below the camera that i'm using for this which is not as expensive as a lot of other ones um but i think it produces quality videos you guys can be the judge of that but yeah a good camera will be necessary for your youtube channel now a few things that are kind of optional but you might want to look into further down the line is a microphone um, so that you get better quality especially if you do voiceovers for your videos and some lighting so whether that's ring light soft boxes um, I will link below again the ones that I use for my YouTube videos and another thing that you will need is a video editing software now um, you don't need to do anything fancy anything basic will do so for me I just use the free iMovie editor um, but if you want to there's also a lot of other um, softwares that you can invest on like um, Premiere Pro or um, Final Cut Pro anything like that now let's talk about expenses so how much can you expect to pay in order to start a blog versus a YouTube channel so for your blog the one thing that you will need absolutely need is hosting and domain package so this is something you have to buy in order to have a platform of your own if you start it on a free platform you do not own that so that's not what I recommend any professional will recommend that you start on a self-hosted blog that you pay hosting and domain for that's that means you own that blog for beginner bloggers i absolutely recommend starting with bluehost um it's super inexpensive and it works really well for just starting out with your blog this is what i use on one of my blogs they have really good customer service um and again it's very inexpensive to start on it i think it's 3.95 per month and at the moment they have a sale a huge discount sale so if you want to start your blog this is a really good time to do so because they've got a sale on it so i will link that in the description box as well and i will also link my guide the free guide that i have for beginners on how to start your blog from a to z so if you need that that's also going to be in the description box now for your youtube channel there's no cost for joining the platform or starting your youtube channel so that's going to be zero dollars um however you will need uh, very likely you will outgrow any smartphone camera and you will need a professional camera for your videos and again you might need a microphone and lighting um, to invest in uh, further down the line so these are the kind of costs that you can expect on both platforms okay the fifth thing that i want you to keep in mind is where your audience hangs now um, figuring out the niche for your blog or your youtube channel is really hard it's one of the hardest things you have to do in the beginning but you can narrow down your target audience so try to think about what kind of people are likely to enjoy your content is it like what age are they are they students or moms or career professionals the more detailed you are the better so try to figure out the person that you are targeting and also think about if they are the sort of person who are more likely to um, have the time to read a blog post or if they're more likely to watch a youtube video 
Now, I will say for, I think, almost any niche out there, it is highly likely that you've got your audience on both platforms. So there will be an audience on a blog or on a YouTube channel. So you can very likely choose either one that you prefer. Number six is the competition for your niche. So now that you've got your niche or target audience kind of figured out, you can start to look at other blogs or channels in your niche. Um, this is how you kind of size up the competition, see if there are any other big channels out there doing the exact same thing that you want to do. And that's not necessarily a bad thing. It's actually a good thing because it means people will be searching for that. The one thing that you do want to do is maybe try to niche down or narrow down even more so that you can actually stand out from the crowd. But yeah, knowing your um, competition on both platforms can be really helpful in order for you to grow. And also it might help you make this decision because if there's lots of blogs on this topic, that means there is a search for it or a demand for it. But if there's not a lot of YouTube um, channels on the topic, maybe you can be one of the first ones to start in that niche. So that can give you kind of a leg up um, in that matter. The seventh thing you need to keep in mind is keyword research and SEO. So you will need to do keyword research on both platforms. So whether that's ranking in Google search or YouTube search, you will need to learn some very basic SEO knowledge and how to do keyword research. If you don't want to waste years creating content on topics that have no chance of ranking, then we go into the exact strategy on how to find keywords that you are likely to rank for um, in my blogging secrets program. So I will link that down below as well if you guys are interested. Number eight, and this is huge. So let's talk about whether you own the platform or not. So I think you probably can tell from now your blog you, is something that you own. You pay for it, it's yours, you have complete control over it. When it comes to your YouTube channel, that's completely the opposite. So you do not own your channel. YouTube could change the algorithm they could demonetize your videos, they could shut down your, the comments on your channel, which has happened before. Um, they could just change anything about it and you have absolutely no control over it. So if you build a full business just on YouTube, it can be a bit risky. So I will say having a blog, I think it's very important to have it on the side. Even if you start a YouTube channel, I think it's really important to have your own website um, and just your own platform. Now let's talk about how you're going to monetize your blog or your YouTube channel. So there's, they're very similar, however, um, there are a few differences. So for both of these, you can monetize through displaying ads, either on your blog or um, in your YouTube videos. You can monetize through sponsored posts or videos. Um, you can monetize through affiliate links. So obviously you include that in a blog post or in your description box of a video. Um, and you can also monetize through selling your own products, um, whether that's physical products or digital products, and also by offering your services. But how much can you expect to make from these monetizing strategies? And is there a difference between the two platforms when it comes to income? You can make a really good income on both platforms. So I don't think this should be something that could stop you. But I will say if we look strictly at displaying ads on your YouTube channel, you can only display Google AdSense ads. On your um, blog, you could display, for example, Mediavine videos, which is what I do on cappuccinoandfashion.com. And the way you calculate your income on these platforms is through RPM. That's rate per mil, or um, it's basically rate per a thousand views or a thousand sessions on your blog. So, um, for example, on Google AdSense, now there's there's no average number for everyone because every niche is different. It depends on the country where your audience is from. It just depends on a whole lot of things. So take this with a grain of salt. But I would say it's very common to expect from Google AdSense to have an RPM of about $5. So that means you would make $5 per 1000 views. Now again, this can vary greatly. It can be higher, lower, depending on a lot of factors. But on Mediavine, for example, it is much more common to see an RPM of 20 to 30 dollars or more so if you're thinking well what does this even mean how much am i going to make per month let's say you get 50,000 blog views versus 50,000 um, video views on your youtube channel so for your blog if you are monetized through mediavine and let's say you have a 30 dollar rpm that's 50 times 30 that's um 1500 dollars in that month now on your YouTube channel, if you have a $5 RPM, that would be 50 times five, and that's $250. So this is how much you can expect to make just with the display ads 
on both platforms but the thing here is that you can monetize through so many other strategies that we have mentioned before so i wouldn't just look at display ads because um, you could make a really good income on both platforms but this is just something that you uh, might want to be aware of number 11 is the trust factor and i think this is something that's not talked about a lot but um when people come to your blog it's kind of harder for them to build a connection to you because they're just reading some words on a page sometimes they don't even go to look at your about page so maybe they just don't know anything about the person behind the blog um, but when they come to your YouTube channel and they watch a video it's much easier to create that connection because they can see you they can hear you um, they, you just kind of build trust with them a bit easier and trust is so important when you're trying to build a brand and uh, especially if you want to monetize it later. So from this perspective, YouTube is definitely the winner here. Number 12 is the time you need to invest in each platform. So there's so many tasks that go behind running a successful blog or running a successful YouTube channel. But let's talk about simply creating one piece of content for each of these. Um, so for your blog, let's say you want to write a thousand words blog post, which is the absolute minimum you should write these days. So if you want to write a thousand words uh, blog post and you want to add a few images to it and you maybe want to proofread it at the end. So this can take you a few hours to do, especially as you get practice, it will get easier and faster for you to write those blog posts. Now on your YouTube channel, depending on the type of channel that you have, so it can take you um, quite a while to just set everything up, just clean your background, um, set up your lighting, your camera, get ready because obviously you, may, you probably want to look a bit presentable in front of the camera. So the whole uh, process of preparing for it can take quite a bit of time. Then you sit down to actually film. Now if it's a sit down video like this, I can probably make it in around half an hour to an hour depending on how long it is. But yeah, half an hour can be a really good time for just sitting down and uh, filming this video. If it's a more intricate video, for example, my cleaning routines on my other YouTube channel, those can take hours or sometimes even a full day of filming. So they are so much more time consuming to film. And then after all of that, you have to take all of that footage and edit it into the final video. This whole process can take hours, if not a few days to do. So from a time investment perspective, YouTube is much more time consuming than just writing a blog post. And then lastly, let's talk about updating your old posts. So for your blog, you can always go back to update an old post. You can edit it, add more images or change the images if they're outdated, change the information on it, um, links, anything about it. You can improve its SEO. You can basically update the whole post and keep it relevant throughout the years. Now for YouTube, once you publish a video, it's much harder to go back and edit it, isn't it? Like you're not going to go back and add more footage to that video. It's also pointless to do so. So uh, from this perspective, it's much easier to keep your content relevant, even content that you've posted years ago on your blog rather than it is on your YouTube channel. So now that we've gone through all of these things, you're probably sitting there thinking, where, well, which one should I start? Should I start a blog or should I start a YouTube channel? In my personal opinion, one of the best decisions you can make is to start both <laughs> so you start a blog and you also start a youtube channel this will give you maximum exposure on both platforms and it can help you grow simultaneously it helps build your trust through your videos and then you also have that platform that you own through your blog so i think it's the best decision to start both and again if you want to start your blog and you have made that decision then um, i highly recommend you start with bluehost i will link it down below again and you can also get my free guide on how to start from scratch so if you have no idea what you're doing i have a step-by-step -step guide that will help you through that process so if you need more info on making this decision then go over to my blog and read the blog post that i wrote about this because i've got a full infographic there that might help you make the decision a bit easier um so yeah, i hope you guys found this helpful let me know in the comments below which one are you going to start are you going to start a blog or a youtube channel i really i'm really curious to know Give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful um, and subscribe for more blogging tips and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys!